Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the Chagere LeCoult Master Chronograph, a fantastic, elegant, versatile, and often overlooked high horology option for folks who don't quite have Vacheron, Patek, or AP money, but want something from a company that can be discussed as a true peer to those August brands. So 40 millimeters in stainless steel, the JLC Master Chronograph is 12.6 millimeters thick, 48 millimeters lug to lug, and 21 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs. The watch goes for a classically subdued look with the intensity of a black dial and a white metal case, but the refinement of a mid-century modern men's all-around timepiece. It's flat enough to fit underneath the cuff, and as you can see, it's not projecting beyond the edges of my wrist. You can see pretty well from over the top that I've got clearance on both sides, so you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. Again, my wrist is 16 centimeters. The strap is high grade, medium rectangular scale alligator leather, semi-gloss finish. There is some bolstering or stuffing to give it volume. In profile, a sheer cut edge, a monotone black stitch, calf skin on the bottom. You can see it is a, a brand new JLC factory strap, and JLC has recently begun to equip pull tab spring bars on its factory straps. So you can quickly pop the strap off the case. Now taking a look at the buckle, it's a full deployant, something I like to see because these days, and by these days I mean the 2020s, JLC equips a lot of watches that are not flagship pieces with pin buckles rather than folding clasps. Folding clasps are more upscale and give you better protection against dropping your watch. It's thoughtfully designed too with the underside of the clasp body being curved to match the arc of your wrist. The watch is simple in shape, but handsome. The lugs are rather narrow when viewed end on. You can see the case flank is fairly sheer. Everything's of high polish. The lugs have a very subtle bevel that expands from the mid case down to the lug tip. You can just barely see it, but it's there. The bezel is stepped in somewhat, and then it has a short vertical lip and then a conical profile to make the watch appear a little bit thinner than it is. We have a JL logo on the crown. It is a push down crown. We have rectangular and slightly rounded off chronograph pushers. And, of course, the watch does have 50 meters of water resistance. In spite of being a dress watch, it has an impressive five bar. On the reverse side, you can see the geosphere, which was the symbol of the International Geophysical Year in 1958, originally associated with the geophysic model from the period. It was later come to be associated with the Master 1000 Hours Control, to which every JLC watch except the Caliber 101 Micro Movement is subjected. It's a test of timing precision winding efficiency, power reserve, shock resistance, durability, water resistance, and more lasting over 1,000 hours as a fully cased up watch, not the bare movement test rendered by the COSC. So when you see that 1,000 hours control on the case, that's what that means. The dial is simple but strong. Keep in mind, this is not the Aston Martin version. It looks very similar. They are not the same watch. This is not Aston Martin branded. Now, in a little bit of a quirk and a nod to the middle of the 20th century, Century when these scales were more common. Here we have a pulsation scale, and in vintage fashion, it's on the dial rather than the bezel. So you can use the chronograph in conjunction with the pulsometric scale. I'll demonstrate how that works. But you you start holding the patient's pulse, you start the chronograph, you count to 30 pulses, you let the watch tick, and when you count your 30th pulse, you stop the chrono, and it gives you an extrapolated beat per minute rate for the patient, so that's how that works. Now, the watch does feature a black lacquered base. There are sunken tracks for each of the sub-registers for a different focal plane. We have applied, polished, dart-style hour indices, Arabic numeral 12, vertically arrayed up at 12 o'clock, and then we have 
alpha style hands that have been half frosted. So one half is media blasted, one half is polished for better contrast against a black base. That's often a problem with watches that have polished hands and black dials. Not a problem here. And you can see that the chronograph and sub-register hands, uh, those for the hours, the minutes, and the seconds have all been frosted for better contrast. Now taking a quick look, the watch does have loom. We'll see it in the dark. It's not a powerfully luminescent reference, but it does have enough that you can read it in the dark. The watch features a number of subsidiary setting modes, one of which is hacking seconds, so you can stop the watch and set it against a reference time. I should probably wind it up a little bit more. And then we also have, there's your hacking. We also have a quick set system for the date, so you can change the date should the watch ever run down. The chronograph uses a column wheel for crisp actuation. It has a nice sharp feeling and sound to it. And due to the presence of a vertical clutch, you can leave the chronograph running full time with no additional wear or tear to the movement. Also due to the presence of the vertical clutch, you can start the chronograph and there's no jump, stagger, or extraneous movement. Underneath the reverse of the case, we have a movement that JLC first declared in 2004. It was their first ever family of in-house automatic chronograph movements. It's caliber 751, automatic winding with unidirectional action on ceramic rotor bearings. Those two features making the watch a very efficient and low maintenance winder. It has two mainspring barrels for more even torque release and thus better consistent timekeeping through the full range of its power reserve than if it had a single barrel. That gives the watch a 65 hour power reserve. It has the hacking seconds, the quick set date. It has a free sprung balance for precision of adjustment but also for shock tolerance. It pivots on 41 joules and of course it has the vertical clutch and the column wheel and it beats away at four hertz or eight beats per second. Taking a quick look at the watch again, beautifully classical, simple, timeless. It will never appear obsolete. It will never appear dated. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.